Okay, my suggestion is to factor, factor, factor. So kind of looking at it, you know, I would say grouping appears to be a workable solution to this problem over here. So I just want to go through it, but I will look at my K to verify that what I'm writing down is correct. And that's what you should be doing too when you're studying. So if I group the first two terms, looking at it, what factors out from that? Certainly a two and an A does. Then what are you left off with? We well, left off with a C minus 3D. Let's do the next one, minus. I'm looking at that, I'm gonna say B factors out. And we left off with, you'd be left off with C minus 3D, all right? I clearly see that factoring because there's a common factor between those two terms now, which is C minus 3D times 2A minus B. So what I wanna do, I wanna make sure that if I were you know, studying this thing that I understood what they did here, that's part of studying. You see this, do I see it here? Well, I see the 2A minus B and I see the C minus 3D. So I feel good about that. I'm gonna go to the next one now. So I'm gonna get my eraser out. And again, we're just studying. I'm gonna look at the bottom here. Look at this guy right over here. Can I factor that guy? Well, I'm looking at it and I'm thinking to myself, the first two terms don't have anything in common, do they? Oh, they do, they have an A, let's put that down. So what do you have here? A times, that would be 3C plus D. That would give you, let's see, 3AC plus AD. Let's look at the next two terms on the bottom. What's there? Certainly a two and a B. And what do you get there? You would get 3C plus D. Well, I notice it again. The factor common between those two terms. There were four terms, now there's two terms. What's that common factor? It's this. So I'm expecting to see that. Do I see it? Do I see the A minus 2B? Do I see the 3C plus D? Yes, that worked out beautifully. Let's keep moving. And this is a little bit easier now, these other guys. Hey, maybe not easier, but they're really about the same level of difficulty. Let's, let's take a look at this. It's quadratic. Let's see if we can factor it. And this looks pretty easy. This would be A and A. And the end is 10B squared. I'm going to say 2 and 5. So 2B, 5B, minus, minus. Does that work? You get A squared. You get minus 7AB. And you get 10B squared. That works beautifully. So let's make sure it's in the K. And I see the A minus 2B. And I see the A minus 5B. Factoring is your first step. All right? Let's do the next one. And it's going to be, let me get my eraser out and get rid of this stuff, though. I'm done with that. Let's go one step at a time. Got this, going to do this one now. And that also looks like it's factorable. Put it over here. I'm going to say 5A and 2A, B and B. And I'm going to say minus plus, but I'm going to check it as always. I do get 5A, uh, I'm sorry, 10A squared. Let's see, minus 5 plus 2 is minus 3. Works like a charm. Do they have that written down? They do. 5A plus B, 2A minus B. So I'm at that stage now. And the stages I'm at, you know, I'm checking myself. I'm at this stage over here now. What am I looking for now? I'm looking for cancellations. Now I'm looking for factors that are identical on top and bottom. 2A minus B, 2A minus B. That's a conditional cancellation provided 2A minus B is not equal to zero. The next thing I want to look at is I want to look at the C minus 3D. I don't see it. So I'm going to, I'm going to move that. Do I see A minus 5B? I don't see it. Do I see A minus 2B? Yes. Right over here. That cancels off. So again, the question is, what am I left with? I'm left with C minus 3D, A minus 5B. There are two factors on top. And I see the 3C plus D, that's one of the factors on the bottom, and the 5A plus B. So I'm, I'm definitely at this next line over here. And that's the line over here. By the way, I would leave the answer like that. But I want to point out, most people don't. What do they do? They multiply it out. I don't think multiplying it adds much to the problem, by the way. However, you know what? You can multiply that out. What do you get? AC minus 5BC minus 3AD 
plus 15 dB or BD, whatever. Let's go to the bottom. You get 15 AC plus 3 BC plus 5 AD plus DB or BD. Let's get our little red pen out, see if we got that. AC minus 5 BC minus 3 AD. 15 BD is the same thing as 15 DB. Yeah, that's good. 15 AC, 3 BC, 5 AD, BD. And this is how you would study. I mean, I, what I mean by that, if you're looking at this thing, you want to make sure you can understand the K. But again, the point is you want to be able to do this without having a key at some point. All right? Thank you.